you're going to meet 11 admission counselors representing universities in the West, hence the name WUI, and I'll go into what that is in just a moment. But as I just said, you're going to meet 11 admission counselors. Every college has an admissions office. Students, parents, that's your number one point of contact. Students are worried about getting admitted to college. Well, look, all you need to do is start connecting with the admission counselors. Admission counselors, look, we don't work for the Office of Rejection. We work for the Office of Admissions. We want to help you get admitted. You need to do two things, students. Ask questions, follow directions. Usually when I say that, a mom's hand shoots up like a rocket. What are the questions? I say, well, we'll get to what the questions are, but who do you ask? What's the old saying? It's not what you know, but who you know. You know admission counselors. At the end of the night, you will have 11 admission counselors that are ready and able to help you get admitted to our universities. Don't stress. Our job tonight is to go from stress to success. Your job is to ask questions and follow directions. Sounds so easy. But I'll tell you the questions. You know who to ask. It's the admission counselors. We are admission counselors. Now, admission counselors may be campus-based or regional. Every one of us is regional. And we do represent a group of regional admission counselors. So while I work for the University of New Mexico, I don't work at the University of New Mexico. The admission counselors that you meet tonight, all are working, we're your point of contact. We work with California students. Now, many of us do live in California, but all of us work remotely. We're not on our campus. We've been working remotely long before March 13th from the pandemic. We represent big, small, urban, suburban. Well, tonight we're gonna to focus on the West and uh, these 11 colleges, universities in the West. And you can see there's even some international options here amongst the regional admission counselors of California. And so when I say RAC, you should start thinking regional admission, regional admission counselors of California. It should be for California, actually. And uh, I would say RAC is really about creating choice. And before COVID-19, it was rolling around the country constantly. We would typically be in your neighborhood tonight presenting to you uh, in person, not just live. So. Lots of events coming up in the near future. Again, parents, students, jump on our regionaladmissions.com. You can sign up. You can look for other schools in the West besides the WUI schools, Midwest, Northeast, uh, by topic. And there's events coming up just about every day in September, October. And these events start either at 3.30 or 5.30, and typically they go for about an hour and a half. Students, as you're thinking about college, what we always say is not a matter of if or when, but where. Seniors, when you started your junior year, you couldn't wait to be a senior. When you start your senior year, you're saying, this is no good. I can't wait to be a freshman. So we're going to help you find that where, because it's out there. Uh, we all live in California. Why? leave California. It's beautiful, right? Babes, Bay, Beverly Hills, Beaches, Boys, Beyonce, Beaver. Everything starts with a B because it's beautiful. Here's our beautiful traffic. I think if anybody thinks that's the five, it's not. It's actually the 405, where I was usually going four or five miles an hour for four or five hours with 405 of my best friends so I could get into this zoo. There are 500 thousand high school seniors in California. Half a million high school seniors just in California again this year. So there's options in California. Oh yeah. And beyond California, out of state could be great. And so when you start hearing out of state, I think people start thinking expensive. Private schools don't charge an out of state tuition. Yes, they've got tuition. And then there's that WUI program. So we're going to talk WUI here and explain how that works. But as you start thinking about the cost, the COA, how much will you pay is what you want to say. So the question isn't, what's the tuition? Ask an admission counselor, what's the COA, the total cost? Because you've got housing and dining, books, transportation, the whole enchilada. Sorry, I'm from New Mexico and it's dinner time. So these five factors add up. Let's take a look. If you were staying in California and you wanted to go to a Cal State, you'd be in the 2025 and a UC is close to 35. Well, public universities for a non-resident are about lateral in cost to a UC. 
Now, private schools, they range from 45 and up, but there's no in-state. You see those numbers, and I know you're holding your head saying, OMG, oh my Gary B, that's crazy. That's a ton of dough. I don't know if I can go. Well, we're going to talk with you and explain how that works, and then you're going to hear from each admissions counselor. We're going to highlight some aspects of our school and talk about WUI. So what's WUI mean? Let's take a quick test. I know you're worried about the ACT, SAT. So what's WUI mean? All right, now's the time to practice that chat and chat in your answers. All right, so everybody got their answers ready. Here we go, the big reveal. WUI, answer C, yay! And it's pronounced WUI. I, I hear people all the time, what's that WU deal or the Western thing? WUI. If you say wooey, we'll be right there for you. And parents, I know you love to use the internet almost as much as your students and you trust everything that you see on the internet. I'm going to tell you that everything on the internet may not be 100% true and accurate. You can go to the wichi.edu slash wooey. You're meeting 11 admission counselors. There's many more colleges, universities that have WUI, but I will tell you that what you want to do is once you find the school, start connecting with the admission counselor. What WUI is, in two words, tuition reduction. Remember the five components of the COA, how much you'll pay, okay? So WUI reduces tuition. Each school, if you qualify for the WUI, you'll pay a lower tuition. You're a resident of California. You leave, you're a non-resident, but you may qualify for the WUI tuition. You'll have to check, what's it take to qualify? Well, that's why the admission counselors are here tonight to explain their institutions. As an example, you could be a resident, um, we're residents of California, so a Cal State's about six grand, non-resident 23. The WUI tuition, would be one and a half up to one and a half. Some schools have lateral, which means the same as a resident. These numbers are an example. Students, parents, what I want you to do is go ahead and apply to these WUI schools, get that, and then work on getting some need-based aid and other merit aid. Need-based aid is with FAFSA, all right? You're a resident of California. When you leave, you cannot establish residency if you're on the WUI program. You're still gonna be on that WUI program, a non-resident. Look at all the schools in the East. Now you know why the schools in the West join together. So these 15 states are the WUI states. We're all public schools. Remember, in-state, out-of-state, there's no difference for private. Well, public schools in the West, and it's not every public school, that's part of the trick, what schools, okay? California is an exporter. Half a million students in California, they're leaving in droves to go to the neighboring states and take advantage of this WUI tuition. 160 schools, not every one of them's a four year, but every one of you are thinking, if you're gonna do a two year, my gosh, just stay in California, there's options here for sure. Every college sets their own qualification. That's why you're gonna meet with us and start meeting the admission counselors. You wanna know how to get the dope? Be admitted, meet qualifications. Many schools have separate applications, some don't. So ask us. And I don't think anybody here tonight does have a separate application. So let's take another test real quick. WUI qualifications. Every college sets their own requirements. If you chatted in true, you got bonus points. Websites are 100% correct. That's 100% false. And admission counselors know their university and how you get the WUI. Some of us have academic qualifications, a GPA. Other schools, you may get admitted and automatically get WUI. Ask the admission counselor. You may get the WUI for four years, uh, maybe longer. Check with us, okay? You can stack the FAFSA. There's not a school here tonight that has a financial qualification. If you never do the FAFSA, you would still get the WUI tuition from these institutions. Some colleges restrict the programs. So again, ask colleges. Uh, different colleges dedicate the WUI for certain programs, okay? Now, I said that most of us are four years. Some may extend that, and you'll ask. If you decide to transfer, many schools have a WUI transfer program. Each college and university sets their qualification to get WUI. 
So how many schools have we? 87 four-year schools. How many sets of qualifications? 87. So not every school has the same qualifications. That should be your number one takeaway. And who knows how to get WUI? Well, it's the admission counselors. And so now you'll get an opportunity to meet each admission counselor that's with us tonight. We're gonna go in an alpha order. I'll go last and then we'll turn it up for questions at the end. So let me introduce my dear friend, good colleague, buddy, my blue buddy, Kevin. Boise State University. Hi, can you hear me, Gary? Absolutely. Good. Good? Perfect. Alrighty. Hi, everyone. My name is Kat Everard. I work at Boise State University located in beautiful Boise, Idaho. We are Idaho's largest public institution with about 26,000 students total and about 17,000 students uh, for our undergraduates. We have over 200 areas of study. Our most popular program is business. Um, we also are recognized for uh, our education program and we um, have one of the largest nursing programs in the Northwest. Um, Boise State's also in the top 50 for innovation with our featured program being gaming interactive media and mobile technology. Um, we are also a division one school. Most people know Boise State of course for our famous blue Smurf turf football field. Go ahead Gary you can click. Um, but why students from uh, California are choosing Boise State has everything to do with our amazing capital city, outdoorsy location, and the people. Um, there's around 600,000 people that live in the Boise metro area, but you still get that warm, welcoming, small town college feel, which students love. Our California students call Boise Idaho for a reason. Also, there are no couch potatoes here. We've been named one of the most active cities in the West, so you get plenty of outdoor activities and uh, those gorgeous views um, with all four seasons. Um, one of the things that I like to highlight too about our student population and our culture, um, I mentioned the, the city of Boise is one of the fastest growing cities um, in the country, the location is amazing. It's about 10 minutes away from the airport, right next to the downtown area. One of my favorite traditions is our students um, love to float the Boise River. We have a tradition called our first week float. Imagine hundreds of college kids floating the lazy river right next to the school with their inner tubes and Bluetooth speakers. Another great tradition that I love is on the first day of school, we, we get all of our students breakfast and we make them blue and orange pancakes, um, which is a lot of fun. Uh, Boise State of course is a wooey school for our application process and scholarship process. Um, we are now not requiring uh, test scores. So you can be admitted to Boise State with a 3.0 GPA. You can also start receiving scholarships at a 3.0. We have two levels of scholarships, our treasure scholarship and our wooey scholarship. Um, if you do not have a test score, an important update that I actually just found out one hour ago, um, if you weren't able to take the test score, our wooey requirement will be a 3.4. Um, so treasure will be a 3.0 and wooey will be a 3.4. That is the most recent up-to-date information, along with a brand new announcement that Boise State is now including our nursing program as a wooey and treasure eligible major, which is pretty exciting. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'll put my email in the chat and thank you. Go Broncos. Great. Now we're going to hear from Mia with Colorado Mesa University. All right. Thank you, Gary. Hello, everybody. My name is Mia, and I am the California Admissions Counselor for Colorado Mesa. I'm actually based in San Diego myself, so hopefully I'll be able to connect with you guys one day soon. For those of you who aren't familiar with Colorado Mesa at all, we are a public university, medium-sized, located in beautiful western Colorado. Right now we have 11,000 students on campus and it's such a beautiful location and I think the best part about our campus community is that it's that, it's a community. You're going to feel supported, you're going to meet people very easily and you're going to feel like this is your second home and that is true even inside of the classroom as well. We're really big on applied learning, personalized education, and making sure that you actually feel valued in the classroom and not like you're just a number going through the system. Right now, we have 114 amazing majors on campus. Some of our highlights right now, um, you can go back, Gary. Um, right now, our forensics program is absolutely amazing. Um, you can see one of our students in the top left here at our Forensic Investigation Research Center, lovingly known as the Body Farm. And you guys can look that up online to know what that means because it's kind of creepy. And to the right of that, you can see a picture of this beautiful dining room. 
That's actually the top story of our teaching hotel that just opened up this semester. 60 rooms, 100% student ran. So if you're looking to get into culinary, hospitality management, marketing, business, this is going to be a hands-on ability for you to get that um, experience and you're getting paid for it too, which I think is amazing. Um, of course, we have a nursing program, absolutely hands-on. We actually bought out the hospital across the street from our campus and students are getting to practice in that hospital setting before even going into their clinicals. And then if you're getting to, into kinesiology, athletic training, exercise science, you can see one of our cyclists down here in the bottom right. Um, we have this amazing human performance lab that students actually get to help our athletes do research, help them optimize their bodies and their health, and actually getting to put that on a resume as an undergraduate student. All right, Gary, we can go forward. And part of the perks of living in Grand Junction, of course, is the weather. A lot of people have this misconception that Colorado is cold and snowing all the time. That's definitely not the case. We have 300 days of sunshine, and I promise you that winters are very mild. I grew up in California, went out to Grand Junction, and I was fine. And you guys can definitely do it, too. We have the Colorado River 15 minutes away from campus, ski resort 40 minutes away from campus, and all the hiking and biking you could possibly want. So you're never going to be bored at Colorado Mesa. And getting into numbers, yes, we're wooey, of course, and all you need to get it on our campus is a 2.5 GPA and being, of course, from California. And then you get that wooey tuition all four years. What that looks like with us is $12,900 a year for tuition. Room and board can be anywhere from nine to $11,000 a year. So your total cost is about $25,000 for your first two years required to live on campus. And then when you move off, it goes down to about half. So really, really helpful. And then we do have stackable merit scholarships on top of that, up to $6,000 a year. And we are test optional this year, which is awesome. So hope you guys check us out. And I'll be in the chat if you have any questions for me. Thank you. Thanks, Miss. Fabulous. Next up is Colorado State University. So we're in the same state, but a different university. All right, can you guys hear me okay? Absolutely good. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. So Colorado State University is a public land grant institution located in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, Fort Collins, aka Ram Country, is a beautiful suburban college located about one hour north of Denver and about 45 minutes south of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, Fort Collins has over 300 days of sunshine and it is consistently voted one of the top places to live and it's also rated as a top city for innovation. So our students definitely come there to enjoy all the great outdoors. They enjoy getting out and hiking and skiing and snowboarding in the Rockies and just watching the sunrise or sunset from horse to reservoir. Um, Fort Collins does have all of your favorite things that you're used to in California. So we have the Trader Joe's, the Chick-fil-A, the Raisin Kings, the Starbucks in every corner. So you're not going to a foreign land or you're not going to have anything that you're not used to. Uh, Old Town Fort Collins is really popular, go back Gary, um, in a place that students like to really hang out. It's about a 10 minute walk from campus um, or students can catch the city bus for free that will take them all throughout the town. All right, let's go, Gary. <laughs> So CSU is the greenest, highest uh, higher education institution in the U.S., and it's the first school in the world to earn the platinum um, rating and the STARS rating for sustainability for multiple years. Um, our students can select from over 200 non-impacted academic programs, and some of our top programs that I see students from California selecting include health and exercise science, um, engineering, biomedical science, business, construction management. We have the number three veterinary school in the country, so we get a lot of students coming there for pre-vet, so they're looking at animal science, zoology, equine science. We do have a fermentation science program where our students do learn to make things like yogurt and kombucha, and when they're of age, they learn to make other fun things. Um, and then we have a top program for fashion and interior design as well. Um, students do enjoy um, participating in over our 500 uh, student uh, organizations, Greek life, NCAA, Division I sports, and club sports as well. We strongly encourage our students to take part in our honors program and participate in research and internships as early as their freshman year, and we will help them find that, whether it be in Colorado or coming back to California or maybe even going abroad for those opportunities. All right, go ahead, Gary. 
Uh, last but not least, we are doing what's called holistic review. So we're going to look at everything you submit to us equally. We're not going to just judge you on one thing and make our decision that way. Uh, for the class of 2021, we are test optional this year, and we're only using the Common App going forward. Um, so when we're looking at your application, we're going to look at your entire four years or three years, depending on when you apply um, to uh, our school. And we're going to look at your, at your curricular activities, if you've done any internships, volunteer hours, all of those are going to play a part in our decision. Uh, we do offer merit scholarships, including the WUI program, and our merit scholarships range anywhere from five to $10,000 for the year, and they're open to every single major, including undecided students. Uh, Colorado State is known for getting our students out of their seats and into the field. So they have labs, they're doing in-depth research. We have a mountain campus that a lot of our outdoor students will go out to enjoy. Um, we really believe in getting the students out and experiencing it and not just reading about it um, and taking tests. So thank you for your time tonight. I definitely look forward to answering any questions you may have and you also will find my information in the chat. Go Rams. Perfect. Great. And next up, Oregon State University located in Corvallis. Delta, tell us a little bit about Oregon State. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, so I'm so happy to be here with you all tonight. Again, my name is Delta Lee. Um, I am your regional missions advisor, so please take my contact at the end, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, but we'll jump right on in. So OSU's main campus is located in the beautiful college town of Corvallis, Oregon. Corvallis is about 90 minutes south of Portland and situated right in the heart of the beautiful Willamette Valley. Um, we have just over 32,000 students on that campus. And with that many folks there, there's a lot going on. So we do have Division I Pac-12 Athletics with some facilities on campus, uh, seven cultural resource centers, and over 400 student clubs and orgs. I'd have to say my favorite is our club, the Bird Nerds, uh, where they come together across their shared love of birds and the outdoors. And I think that really speaks to our community. Academically, we focus on getting students out there. So we do recognize the extreme importance of hands-on experiential learning opportunities and highly encourage and sometimes require our students to take on those opportunities. Um, so that can happen across the board. Maybe our student is working in our coastal campus called the Hatfield Marine Science Center over their passions of oceanography and marine biology. Um, perhaps our students are in our first year experience program in the College of Business, where they are tasked with creating or supporting a real world entrepreneurship initiative. Um, things like that happen very much across the board for us across our uh, 200 plus academic programs. Um, the two in orange there are graduate colleges. So our pre-professional students in pre-vet, pre-med, pre-physical therapy, pre-pharmacy really have the advantage of having that exposure of being on a campus with those graduate schools. Um, and specifically for, you know, students maybe interested in veterinary school might get really important previews to make them stand out candidates for grad school. Uh, if you don't know what you want to study yet, oh, go back one more second, Gary, thank you. <laughs> if you don't know what you want to study yet, you can uh, come in as a University Exploratory Studies student. Um, UESP is kind of like our undeclared plus. You can come in, um, still be on track for graduating in four years, but get the opportunity to explore those 200 plus programs, right? So if you want to check out forestry or if you want to check out what sustainability means, you can totally do that in that program. Uh, and then last but not least, we do have an honors college. So uh, if you're looking to kind of incorporate that in your higher ed experience, you can do so. Um, Honors College has small seminar courses uh, their entire four years and then culminate their experience in a senior thesis capstone project. Awesome. Um, and then uh, if you're looking to apply, the things in the white box are what you need to know. We do a holistic review, so we'll look at all the pieces of your application. And this year we are test optional, so there is no uh, requirement to submit those to be reviewed for admissions or for scholarships. Um, and then when it comes to scholarships, uh, since we're here tonight, we do have the WUI, which is exciting. Um, we do an automatic and holistic review for all eligible students. That being said, the awarding of that scholarship is going to be competitive this year. So not all eligible WUI students will receive the WUI scholarship. Um, but those who do will receive scholarships that allow them to have tuition that's about 150% of in-state tuition. Um, all students are also able to apply to academic scholarships as well once they're admitted, um, and then the FAFSA also. So um, I really appreciate your time tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions and I'll make sure to put those in the chat. Thank you. Go Beavs. Next up. Tiffany with the University of Alaska Anchorage. Tiffany? Can you 
and she'll be right here with us. Just one quick moment. And I was on, yeah, rookie mistake team, rookie mistake. Anyway, All good. I, thanks for the introduction, Gary. So we value our uh, access to adventure and our central location here at UAA. We call ourselves the urban wild. So what that means is you have access to all of the beautiful nature that Alaska has to offer. Um, hundreds of miles of trails, snowboarding, more national park than any other state. And you can even take a weekend trip to see the glaciers or the nor northern lights. But as the largest city in Alaska, we also offer those urban comforts that coming from California, you probably enjoy. So a downtown, shopping, movies, concerts, and more. The state's major airport is in town, so you're just a short flight away from home. And it's actually faster to fly to Anchorage than to drive across California. <laughs> On campus, you'll be part of a thriving community of 13,000 students with over 100 clubs and 23 athletic teams, sporting equipment rentals, and a new esports lounge you'll find plenty of ways to live your amazing story. As a major public university, we offer a wide breadth of programs that enable you to explore and follow those academic passions. Exploratory studies is actually one of our most popular freshman majors, and we have uh, separate colleges, so well-developed infrastructure for supporting students um, for arts and sciences, health, engineering, business, career and technical education, and uh, you can even take some really interesting elective classes like rafting, ice climbing, or even dog sledding. So we're ranked number one for long-term return on investment amongst our peer institutions. Um, and that's in our opinion because UAA balances affordability and quality. We have an excellent one to 16 faculty student ratio, which means about half your courses have less than 25 students. And we maintain affordability by offering you automatic Louis tuition in the $11,000 range. So that means that it can actually be less expensive for you to attend the University of Alaska Anchorage than the University of California. And we're an open access university. So we extend the mission uh, of, of the university to WUI students. There's absolutely no other requirement for WUI tuition other than that you're coming from a Western state. So this means that at UAA, WUI is not competitive. It's not a scholarship. It's a true tuition discount and uh, there are no program or GPA restrictions. And as an open access institution, we're also uh, pretty easy to apply to. Your application doesn't take very long, about 15 minutes. And there's no essay requirement, and we've always been, or at least for in the recent history, been test blind. So I'll provide more information to you in the chat, um, my contact info, and I look forward to helping y'all become future Seawolves. Thank you. Great information. University of Alaska Anchorage. And next up, we're going to get to hear from Vanessa with the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. Vanessa? Hi, everyone. My name is Vanessa Aya, um, again with UCCS, and so glad to be here with you. UCCS is a part of the all public, all research University of Colorado system. We are ending the second week of our fall semester um, with a little less than 12,000 students. I get a lot of applications from California, particularly in our professional programs, um, nursing and health sciences, which makes sense in our city because we are home to one of the US Olympic Training Centers, as well as the headquarters for the US Olympic Committee. Um, we also get a lot of applications for our College of Business, as well as our College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. In the city of Colorado Springs, we also have the US Air Force Academy, and because of their presence and several military bases, we have more than several defense contractors that are frequent visitors to our campus um, for those related majors um, in regards to re um, hiring for interns, and of course, as students are getting ready to finish their bachelors um, and are looking for full-time jobs. Next slide, please, Gary B. Um, and of course, um, our University of Colorado campus does participate in the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program. Not all of them do. If you'd like to guess which one does not, you can type the first letter of the city they're in um, in the chat. Um, and I can tell you if you're correct or not. But anyway, we do WUI automatically for all majors except for nursing. Um, and so if a student is accepted, we see that they're from California, anything except nursing, you will get that WUI tuition automatically. For our nursing students who are accepted, we do the PEAK scholarship. It's an out-of-state scholarship and it brings students down almost to the same 
same amount as the WUI tuition. We do have stackable scholarships like the Chancellor's Leadership Class Scholarship. And then we actually have a uh, scholarship that does better than the WUI, our Presidential Non-Resident Award. Instead of paying resident tuition times 1.5, pay, you pay resident tuition times 1.1. Uh, last slide, Gary B. And so in Colorado Springs, um, the second largest city after the capital city of Denver, um, we are one hour south of the capital city of Denver, and we do get, of course, all four seasons. That is our lovely playground there. Um, we have our own uh, mild hiking trails and mountain biking trails on the 500 acres that our campus sits on. I love that um, Elise uh, named some of the places that are available to eat and buy groceries like Trader Joe's and, and whatnot in Fort Collins. But guess which town, fun fact, next year, 2021, is getting the first in and out in the state of Colorado. Hi. If I guess Colorado Springs, would I be close, Vanessa? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that's all I've got for you today. Thanks. All right. And next up, University of Idaho. Eva? Yes. Let's go, there we Idaho. Go. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Let's My name is Eva Huster, and I work at the University of Idaho. We are located in Moscow, which is in the northern part of the state. We have a lot of different majors for our students to choose from. They have a broad range of majors. As you can see, they go all the way from business and communications to engineering, education, and more unique majors that are going to fall within the College of Agriculture and the College of Natural Resources. So there really is a lot for every single student. Favorite majors probably are within the College of Natural Resources. I just really like the environmental touch that a lot of those um, majors have with them. They all have outdoor components where you're going to have to take classes outside. If you're in our College of Agriculture, you will get to play with all of our farm animals that we have on campus. And so we have multiple farms around campus, both on and right off as well. So a lot of unique different things that you're not going to see um, at every single school and definitely not what we're used to here in Southern California. 66% uh, of our undergraduates participate in research. So as you can see on that previous slide, that student's doing some research with his professor. So look at that opportunity at U of I and it'll definitely help bolster your resume for um, graduation. Our D1 when it comes to sports and all of our sports are pretty popular. Um, that I don't have on here and should put, but our women's soccer team, we have a great photo and the stands are completely full behind them. And I just don't think you see that at every university. Um, but right here, we've got our football team gathering up for a play and our um, school colors are silver and gold. We're actually the only university whose official colors are silver and gold. And that goes to the mining traditions of the state of Idaho. Um, we are also the Idaho Vandals, which we're also the only university with Vandals as a mascot. So two little fun facts for you to take home tonight, if that's all you remember about my presentation, then I think those are two fun facts. Um, we are six miles to the closest airport. You get to come home. We actually share it with WSU, um, who you'll hear from later. The Pullman Moscow Regional Airport is where our students can easily fly in and out of. Um, and you just get a layover in Seattle and then a little hopper plane right over there. We are in interdisciplinary studies. You will get closely with students outside of your major and outside of your college. So our business students work really closely with computer science and digital design students in making a video game. And our business students are going to market that game, for example. Um, so it's a really cool thing to get to know other students around campus. We're also a very outdoorsy university. So our students have to be hiking, biking, kayaking. The Palouse is an epic gateway to a four season adventure. So there's plenty for our students to do. We have the largest outdoor rental center on a college campus. Next slide, please. Um, oh, I sent you my long ones. Keep going to the wooey slide. I forgot I sent you longer ones. Um, so for wooey, um, for wooey, we do give it to all accepted students from California. So, to, so when you apply to us, you'll automatically receive it once you're accepted and you'll pay that gold cost right there in the middle. So I would definitely love to hear more from you and uh, go Vandals. And <laughs> University of Idaho. And next up, as you're doing the exploration, University of Nevada in Reno. Good evening, everyone. My name is Linda Dana Miller, and I am one of the regional representatives for University of Nevada, Reno. I'm actually based here in the Bay Area, 
um, but I have traveled many times down to San Diego and Southern California actually used to cover that area. Um, but I wanted to let you know that we have a rep, his name is Devin Williams, and he's going to be um, covering visits. So you might see him visiting your high school this fall, and um, his information is going to be shared with you this evening. A little bit about University of Nevada, Reno. We are roughly about nine hour drive from San Diego. You can get up to Reno. We have an airport there in about an hour. We have um, daily flights on Southwest into Reno from San Diego. We are a four year tier one re university, research university. We have about 18,000 undergraduate students on our campus. And we sit about 35 miles from Lake Tahoe. So yes, we do get four seasons on our campus. Um, it's a beautiful campus surrounded by mountains and it is a very outdoorsy campus. Um, students have um, availability to majors. We have no impacted majors, 140 um, academic programs. So students can come in undecided, switch majors and graduate in four years. We have a highly diverse campus. Our students come to us from all over. We have Division I athletics. Our study abroad program is consistently ranked in top 10 in the country. Majors that students typically find us for would be engineering, computer science, kinesiology, nursing, uh, journalism is great for us, and uh, business. That's another one. We have a lot of companies coming into Reno right now, such as Tesla, um, opening up a lot of internships for our students. In terms of, um, if you want to switch to the next slide, Gary, um, we have, these are a little bit different, these, these slides than what I'm seeing, but um, I might have covered um, a little bit of that. You can go to the next one. This is the slides that I have. Okay, so quickly I want to just cover we are a WUI school. Um, you can see right there it snows on our campus and it is very beautiful. That's a picture of our quad when it snows. Back to what I was saying, we do, do have WUI for every student. So every major gets our WUI award if they're admitted. And we ask students to have a 325 GPA unweighted to get the WUI or a test score of a 24 ACT or an 1160 SAT. And we are test optional going into this year, so that's not required. Um, so if you have a 3.0 cumulative GPA, academic GPA, you are granted admission to the university and you are admitted direct to your major. Um, I'm gonna pass things over to the next rep, but thank you for being here tonight. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Go Pack. Go Pack, thank you. And next up, University of Utah and Salt Lake City, Brandon. Thank you, Garrett. Can you hear me okay? Perfectly. All right. Well, let's keep it on that. Can we go back? Just keep it on that slide for a sec, Garrett. Oh, the absolutely. Slide, I love it. Title slide. So, all right. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Brandon. I'm the Southern California Regional Mission Counselor for the University of Utah. Um, I wanted to highlight a couple of these pictures right here. So, the, the top picture on the top right is our campus. Um, it's about um, 15,000 acre campus, all contiguous. Um, this is a picture of our lower campus right there. Um, below it is our beautiful shot of downtown Salt Lake City. So we are actually located about uh, two miles east of the capital downtown uh, Salt Lake City area. So you see where the mountains are. We are, if you head that way, that is actually headed towards campus. So we're at the base of the mountains. So we're right next to the, to all of the great outdoor eating, shopping, networking, um, the capital there. Um, about 500 Utah students actually get internships uh, on Capitol Hill right there. And if we were to scroll from that downtown picture to the right, uh, you would get our airport. So we kind of consider Salt Lake City a, um, a college city. Um, the, the city itself is actually almost as, or a little bit bigger than the uh, city of Oceanside, about, two, about 200,000 uh, residents. So um, we really like the interconnected piece of our campus to the area. And with uh, a University of Utah student ID, you actually get free public transportation throughout the entire Salt Lake Valley. So that's a huge plus just going to the U. Um, so sorry, sorry, Gary. Next slide. So let me just run through a lot of these, uh, some of these uh, highlights here. So we have 150 majors to choose from, none of which are impacted. More popular majors tend to be our engineering, business, nursing, uh, architecture, kinesiology programs, but everyone and anyone that wants to study anything on our campus has the ability and, and access to do so. Um, we are a large campus at 32,000 students. However, 
uh, 24,000 uh, of them are undergrads. So about 75% of our campus are freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So a lot of our resources go into the undergraduate experience first and foremost. Uh, the 17 to one represents our student to faculty ratio. Um, and also a really cool stat is that um, three out of five of uh, classes offered on campus have 30 students or fewer in them. So the majority of the, of the time you spend at the U will be in small discussion-based classes, which again is counterintuitive to a school our size. Um, we are a proud member of the AAU, Association of American Universities, the most prestigious um, academic enclave in the US. Um, we are the only research one university in the state. Uh, we just surpassed $600 million in research funds uh, for this upcoming school year, something we're really, really proud of. Um, and the most important thing while we're here today is that WUI is a guaranteed tuition discount for every and all California admitted student. There's nothing special or different you have to do in your application to, uh, to request WUI. Uh, just having a California transcript and a mailing address will, will guarantee you a WUI uh, tuition discount upon admission. Um, some of our more popular sort of programs uh, that are more sort of um, co-curricular, um, sort of outside the classroom um, is our Lasan Studios, pr uh, promotes a ton of uh, different uh, business startup competitions. Um, we're, we're, tech has really moved into Salt Lake City because of the um, influence of Facebook, eBay, Adobe, um, Workday, big companies moving into Salt Lake City. Um, we are the number one um, commercialization to techno or technology to commercialization school in the country, AKA everything that we create on campus, we take to market straight away. Um, so that surpasses schools like MIT and Stanford, for instance, right? So we're a very, very hands-on school. I mentioned our Hinkley Institute, um, providing those internships in, in the downtown capital area. What's cool about our Hinkley Institute was that it was instrumental in bringing the first vice presidential debate between uh, Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence uh, to our campus uh, this uh, uh, upcoming October 7th. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, sorry, Gary, we'll, we'll do one more. Okay, perfect. And just really quickly again, uh, we are a common application school. We did go test optional for this fall. So you do not need to send, submit an SAT or ACT to us to be considered complete. Uh, we have no preference between those students that have a test score versus those that don't. We will treat you all independently from one another for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we are a holistic review uh, school like um, you might've heard uh, mentioned earlier before. The other important thing with scholarships is that there's more scholarships available to you once you come to the U uh, than might be available to you when you, when you first arrive. Um, $100 million was awarded last year in scholarships and grants. Three out of four University of Utah students carry uh, merit and or need-based scholarships uh, or aid um, on campus uh, today. So, and we also have an amazing residency program. So just getting WUI alone, you're gonna save almost $70,000 uh, over the course of your four years on the, on the total cost of attendance. So, um, and then on top of WUI, you could get additional scholarships that bring that cost e down even further. So um, again, thank you so much for your time. I think I'm out of time. Um, I'm gonna pass it off to Gary and I will put my information in the chat, but thanks again for coming again. Thanks, Brandon. And we're gonna hear from Sarah with Washington State University. Oop, and you're actually gonna hear from oh, Ivy. Um, Ivy. My bad. But I think it might be my bad. Um, but I'm actually your admissions counselor. So I'm based in San Diego, although I'm originally from Washington State. Um, so WSU is located over in southeastern Washington. Um, and like Eva was saying, we are like eight miles from Idaho, about five hours from Seattle. So definitely on the other side of the state, and you're gonna see all four seasons of weather over on that side of the state, um, very different than Seattle weather. So we do get a lot of snow. Um, and it's a lot hot, hotter and drier in the summer. So something to keep in mind, um, but gives our students opportunities for all sorts of outdoor sports throughout the year. Um, Pullman is your quintessential college town type of environment. So we've been ranked one of the safest colleges in the nation. Um, about two thirds of the town of Pullman are the students. So very student centered, very undergraduate focused um, university. WSU is um, definitely sort of the hallmark is the student life. So we have um, over 400 student clubs. We have a lot of school spirit. You'll see alumni pouring back into town on game days um, and alumni support all throughout the country. We have 200 fields of study and we're not impacted. So you definitely come in, explore. Uh, we have specific programming to help students that are exploring different majors um, and help give them the advising they need to find the right program for them. Um, some of our more popular programs, um, because we are a land grant university, so we have a responsibility to serve the different needs of the state. So you'll find a lot of engineering programs at WSU, 
um, you'll see a lot of education and a lot of agricultural sciences. So we're nationally ranked in research productivity. Um, we had the first organic farming major in the country. So um, some cool research in those areas. Um, some of my favorite programs are our viticulture and enology program. If you wanna learn how to make wine or uh, fermentation sciences, do an internship on a vineyard in Washington. It's a great opportunity. We have a lot of students interested in veterinary sciences. We have a vet school and a medical school. Um, veterinary sciences, there's some cool opportunities to do animal sciences or wildlife ecology and conservation. We actually have a grizzly bear center on our campus with seven bears. Um, so there's some cool opportunities there as well. Um, and we're a tier one research institute. So a lot of different ways to get involved. We actually have an office of undergraduate research with folks to help you get connected with those opportunities. Um, and of course, we have a lot of um, different, oh, let me switch to the next slide. There we go. I guess I skipped a slide. Um, so we are, of course, part of the WUI program. Um, we are, we have raised it to a 3.6 this year. Um, so it's an unweighted 3.6 GPA to qualify for the WUI. Um, however, it applies to all of our programs, um, including nursing. And we also have another level, the Cougar Award. So if you're between a 3.2 and a 3.59, you'll qualify for the Cougar Award instead. Um, these are automatic, there's no extra application process. Um, and then also new this year, we will not be looking at test scores. So uh, there's no need to send us ACT or SAT this year. Um, and yeah, I'm available. I serve Orange County in San Diego. So let me know if you have any questions. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ivy. Again, Washington State University. And I'm the last presenter tonight, and then we'll finish up with some Q&A from uh, students, parents. Let me talk about where I went to college and graduated, the University of New Mexico, or UNM. And I want you to remember three things. Mountains majors money. As you can see, we're located in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or as I say, UNM, University Not Close to Mom. Students, you're leaving home and going away to college. You'll be going to Albuquerque, flat and hot, we're not. UNM, University Next to Mountains. If you'd like to go skiing, it's a great opportunity. A little bit of snow, but it snows and it goes. Majors, UNM, you name a major, we have it, and it's WUI eligible. Maybe you're into the health sciences, UNM, University for Nursing and Medicine. Uh, business, UNM, University with a number of management programs. Film, UNM, University for Netflix movies. Guess what? Netflix is headquartered in Albuquerque for their production. Not sure? UNM, undecided no more? Come explore. Options galore. We'll open the door to something you're looking for. Talk about how much will it cost? What's the COA? How much will I pay? Well, just think, UNM, you need money, we've got scholarship. 3.0, we'll show you the dough to go to New Mexico. Students, the minute that you apply for admission, you've applied for automatic scholarship, the automatic WUI program. We don't require an essay, a personal statement, or any letters of recommendation. I will pay your application fee, it's free. Today, you can apply online and in week Two weeks, you would know. You're not committed, you're admitted. You don't have to decide UNM until next May. So I'm gonna make this super simple. Class of 2021, time to get it done. You can apply online, do it anytime. Use your phone, do it at home. Either way, do it today. Then email me, Gary B, and I'll waive the fee. Send the transcript, don't worry about the test. I'll do the rest. 3.0, you're getting dough to go. Got a four, maybe more, who knows? Gary B, remember me when you're making that list? UNM, university not to be missed. All right, and you're probably thinking, wow, UNM, unlimited number of meanings. Well, hopefully this presentation meant something to you. We've been a pleasure today meeting with you virtually as we talked about the WUI program. Thank you, Dory. Thank you, Jennifer. And again, if you'd like to participate in some other events coming up in the near future, share this screen, take a snap, get on our website, regionaladmissions.com. Uh, we're going to take some questions, some Q&A. Thanks again. Every counselor is here to answer your questions. Remember, students, ask questions, follow directions. If you have specific questions, you can go ahead and type them into the chat box so that we can uh, address them and, and maybe everybody has the same question. 
Um, I do have a question right away, and that is for Elise at Colorado State. Elise, can you talk about what it is the requirement to get the WUI scholarship at Colorado State without test scores? So currently that's still being reviewed by our leadership, so I don't have those requirements just yet, which is why I didn't cover them in my presentation. Sorry, guys. But if you email me, I'll drop my email. Um, once again, I will connect with you. Um, and we can talk through what the potential uh, requirements are going to be, but they haven't released them just yet. Okay, great. Um, so, Gary, you mentioned that there are 87 other um, WUI participating schools. Is there somewhere that they should go to learn more about those schools and what their programs are? Sure, Google search Western Undergraduate Exchange or WUI. I was on the website today. Uh, it's a great website, but again, I caution you just with a little grain of salt that not everything's 100% true and accurate. I, I mean, I looked at our tuition, but you can go to WICHE, W-I-C-H-E, which is the over, organization is the Western Institute of Commission of Higher Ed, but just Google search WUI or Western Undergraduate Exchange. You go to that website. Um, I'll put it in the chat here as well, and then students get there, and uh, you'll be able to look up schools. Find the admission counselor and come back to the admission counselor. That's your number one. Okay. We have a question um, here about what are the requirements for nursing at Boise State Utah and Colorado State University. Brandon, do you want to tell us about Utah? Yeah, absolutely. So there's sort of two tracks that a student can, can apply for. So straight away, there's a, um, a nursing early assurance program that basically gets um, direct admission into our nursing program. Um, it's a very competitive program. Only about 20% of incoming first year students actually receive um, or that apply for this program. About 20% of them get admitted to it. Um, most students end up coming through the sort of side door, which is basically uh, walking in as a pre nursing major um, and then taking a couple of the prerequisites um, uh, for nursing in their first year and then apply for that same sort of nursing track um, starting in the middle of their sophomore year. So the second semester of sophomore year is when they'll actually begin that program. So um, you don't necessarily have to come in through the sort of front door through this program. You have ample opportunity and time to sort of explore that interest um, when, once you get there. Um, and, and it's not necessarily that you get locked into um, our early assurance program. When you get there, you can obviously step out, and not, but you would have to obviously apply back in. But um, I would I always encourage students that if you're thinking of nursing, but not really completely sold on it, there is no stress, no worries to sort of um, uh, bypass the, the NEAP program, NEAP, um, and come in uh, just listing the pre-nursing uh, on your um, academic interest through the common application. And uh, you should be uh, more, than, more than okay once you get to the U to, to pursue nursing um, as a proper major down the road. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Kat, does Boise State have nursing? Absolutely. Um, so for our nursing program, students will come in as a pre-nursing major. I mentioned nursing now is a WUI eligible major for fall of 2021 and for fall of 2022. So we're going to start there and kind of see how it goes. We've doubled our program in the past year and are looking to double it again within the next few years. The state of Idaho needs nurses. So we've expanded our program. Um, once students fi finish their prereqs in their first two years, then they will apply into the nursing program. You would need a 2.5 in order to apply and you do have to take a Kaplan exam. Again, this is nothing you need to do at the high school level. Uh, you would do that once you are in college here at Boise State. And then as far as outcomes go, um, a lot of our, our students are getting jobs in Boise right after. We have two of the region's largest hospitals in the area um, and our passing rate for NCLEX is around 95%. Um, so pretty good. Thank you. And Elise, Colorado State nursing? No, ma'am. We have pre-health and pre-vet, okay. pre but my wonderful so. colleagues at uh, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Springs and Colorado right. Mesa, yes, I always refer students to them, so okay. they can That's take it That's what I thought. That's why the question, <laughs> and I was confused by the question. So, um, Vanessa, you want to talk about Colorado Springs and nursing? Yes, happy to. And so for us, our students, they can be accepted as um, entering freshmen into the nursing prep program. Um, and 
you know, typically with, with the test scores in previous years, it had been an unweighted GPA of a 3.3 because the uh, test scores are no longer required. I think the GPA is going to be a little bit higher. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but that should be on our website. Um, if it's not already, uh, it should be on there pretty soon. Then at the end of freshman year, we are going to be looking for, again, at least a 3.3 college GPA. Um, and they take in, in our, or at, for our school, they take um, the equivalence of the TIS exam. Um, they take the HESI exam and coupled with, so they couple that GPA and the HESI results to uh, qualify students into the clinical portion, which for us, it's a three-year clinical program. It starts in their sophomore year. Great. Thank you. Now, in terms of applying for a WUI scholarship, and this may be different for each school, but I've always been told, like, the sooner you can put in your application, the better. For us, it's automatic. We we don't have a deadline. You're right, okay. Jennifer. There are schools that have that might have deadlines for that WUI award, but mm -hmm. uh, no, we don't have um, limits on how many students qualify okay. for WUI. If if you don't qualify coming in as an incoming freshman for a WUI scholarship, is there a way to qualify starting your sophomore year, Gary B? Not at the University of New Mexico, uh, but it would be a rare student that wouldn't qualify for WUI. Why well, say 3.0 will show you the dough? There is some latitude and flexibility. By being here tonight, the earlier you apply, that's gonna express that you're interested in the University of New Mexico. Get admitted, not committed, get some dough, we'll help you go, New Mexico. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. We have another question here. Is the GPA based on the time of the application or after the senior's first or last semester? Linda, can you answer that question for us? Sure. So when a student applies to, uh, are you asking about general admission or for the WUI uh, tuition discount? WUI. Okay. So um, yes, they've done, students can um, send in new grades and test scores for University of Nevada, Reno, all the way into the spring of their senior year. We'll review them. Um, really with their final transcript. If their GPA goes up, if it's just right on the cusp and they want to send it in, we'll award that all the way through um, the, the end of their senior year. And I just wanted to um, say, referring to getting WUI as a sophomore, we, we will give WUI to transfer students if they come into Nevada with 24 credits. And if they have a 325 at the junior college, they would be eligible for WUI in their second year. Great, thank you. Yeah, Ivy? Colleges do have WUI transfer programs. So when I alluded to freshmen, if you're a freshman, then sophomore. But yes, definitely talk to the admission counselors and say, hey, I'm going to do a year or two at a community college. Can I transfer and get WUI? And I think you'd hear yes from every one of us. Yeah, I was going to hop in and say, um, we also offer a transfer WUI, but um, most schools, it's an admission scholarship, so you have to qualify when you're admitted. So typically, you wouldn't be eligible based off of your college GPA. It would have to be based off of your incoming GPA from high school or from uh, community college if you're a transfer. Um, but for us, you have to qualify with um, basically till the application deadline of January 31st. So you could submit your first semester senior year grades. Um, and have those be considered as part of your WUI GPA. Um, but definitely a good question to ask every single school because um, those some schools will allow you to use your whole entire, um, even your final senior year grades. I, I think hopefully that everybody that's on this call is picking up on the fact that all of these representatives are anxious to help you. They want to answer your questions. They want to help guide you. They want to help you figure out how to qualify for WUI or for another scholarship, help you find the major that's interesting to you and help you find the best fit and if at which of those campuses that might be. So um, following this, we will be providing you with all of their contact information so that you can reach out to them, you can ask them your specific questions, you can set up an opportunity to just chat with them, learn more about the school, they can give you the links to attend a virtual campus tour to connect with current students in your major of interest. 
Um, the colleges have numerous opportunities for you to connect on campus because of the fact that it is so difficult for all of you to be able to get to these campuses in person this year. So please, please reach out to these people and let them help you. Dory, can I jump in on that for a second? Absolutely. So I think what Dory just said was so great. And then uh, the slide that Gary had in his presentation earlier that I thought was really impactful if I was a, a student or a parent right now is um, you really want to go to the admission counselor from that school that that is assigned to you, mainly because, um, for instance, at the University of Utah, like we, I don't uh, have a website specifically for California kids that's, that says WUI is guaranteed for California students. You'll just get our landing page that sort of is our blanket sort of statement and policies and re requirements for WUI. Um, but um, I had a family the other day that said, oh, Brandon, I heard you said this, but then the website says that. So mm -hmm. a lot of our information, particularly with test scores, those things are sort of as Elise was saying, are sort of a in fluid, you know, sort of uh, a fluid motion right now, right? It's, so it's important that you stay connected to us counselors um, because we can give you the most accurate, up-to-date information, even if our website isn't as quick to to reflect that. So, um, so again, big kudos to to Gary and to Dory with the what they were advocating tonight. We even heard from Boise State; they just did a one hour ago update. Well, you won't find that on the website, but now you know Cat. You know, Tiffany with uh, University of Alaska Anchorage, you know, Linda. So reach out to us. Not every website's 100% true and accurate. It, we're trying to do our best. We're trying to keep up, but the world's changing. So I, I think that we have covered all of the questions and I promise to have everybody out of here by 730. So thank you so much for being here tonight thank you wooey rack members for joining us and giving us such a great overview of your campuses and your programs and families i hope you will reach out to these people and learn more about these schools because they all have fabulous programs and great opportunities for your students and it allows you to keep them within a driving distance of home in case you need to go there and and get them for some reason Although, you know, fingers crossed, <laughs> things are improving. Uh, anyway, thank you all so much. Have a great night. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. And we will look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Dory. Thanks, Jennifer. Thanks, families. Yes, Thanks, hi, Gary. Thank you. Really we'll be appreciate back on the Zoom it. soon. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>